hello guys all right welcome back to the channel i hope you're having a good time and thank you to all the new subscribers and if you're new please kindly subscribe donc merci à tous les nouveaux abonnés et les gars si vous êtes nouveau sur la chaîne s'il vous plaît abonnez-vous et activez la cloche de notification all right guys so we are moving today to Ganyo. i'll take you a bit around Ganyo city let's go Ganyua is situated about 200 kilometers northwest away from Abidjan. Ganyua is a large city and uh, it's the capital of the Gojibwa region. And it's also prominent, a prominent city because it was or it is the hometown of the former president, Laurent Gbagbo. It's a city surrounded by lush vegetation and it's known for its fertile soil which makes it an important agricultural hub. In addition to cocoa, coffee and palm oil, Ganyo also produces crops such as rubber, cotton and various food crops. The city's economy is deeply rooted in agriculture and its strategic location has made it a significant trading center for these commodities. Culturally, Ganyua is the hometown of various ethnic groups including the Bete, the Bulu, the Dida people, each of which have their own traditions, languages and customs. The city hosts various cultural events, festivals and ceremonies that showcase the rich diversity of its population. In terms of marketplace, Ghana's central location and status as a major trading center have led it to the establishment of vibrant markets where various goods and agricultural products are bought and sold there. These markets are not only places of commerce, but also social hubs where people from different backgrounds interact. In terms of transportation, Ganyua's location along the major road network connecting to Abidjan, the interior of the country, also enhances its role in trade and transportation. Ganyua serves as a transit point for goods moving between urban centers and rural areas. Can you see this long truck carrying a heavy construction machine? We call it a front loader. In terms of the cultural diversity of Ganyua, with its diverse population, Ganyua is known for its cultural richness. The city celebrates traditional festivals and ceremonies that reflect the country's customs and traditions of different ethnic groups. So it is a city with great cultural diversity. In terms of education and infrastructure, over the years there have been efforts to improve education and infrastructure in Ghana. Schools, healthcare facilities, and other amenities have been established to support the city's growing population. In terms of tourism, while Ghana not been a famous city in Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana's cultural diversity 
vibrant markets and proximity to natural attractions like forests, rivers make it a potential destination for ecotourism and cultural exploration. It's getting to evening and you can see how the street lights have already been prepared and made uh, ready. So they have been switched on already. So that as uh, the evening is fast reaching and night will soon come, the people will still have uh, lit streets. And if that's interesting. Alright guys, so here we are moving towards the quarter called Soleil. Soleil is like sun. So this quarter is called Quartier Soleil. It's actually a beautiful quarter in Gagnon. Uh, the streets are also more or less clean. And of course there is interesting and delicious street food there. <laughs> so yes guys, you can see for yourself how uh, the yeah, interesting chilling place is here. The streets are also clean and uh, there are many businesses around that are ongoing and that are booming. Mm. Café Soleil is actually uh, a very interesting place here. I like it. While Gagnon benefits of these agricultural activities in its location, there are challenges such as fluctuating commodity prices, climate changes, and the need for sustainable farming practices. Efforts to address these challenges are ongoing by the government. So you have to note that Gagnon is a developing city and uh, it's a wonderful city nice to live, not so expensive and people are developing there and growing their business Hey guys, you can see this food. They call it uh, pork étouffé. It literally means choked pork. It's actually a kind of uh, pork that is the meat, with which is stuffed with uh, Irish potatoes and grilled. It was actually delicious. Guys, see this colorful building? It's actually the Gagnon City Council, La Mairie de Gagnon. Yes, people come here for civil wedding and to also sign other public documents. So, well, they cover all the functions of uh, every other city council. Like, so it's uh, a state institution for the inhabitants of Gagnon.
and here is the regional headquarters of uh, the police station, the National Police. Where you can see Sokose. Sokose is a chain store supermarket and they sell things at very affordable prices. Just for a perspective, you can compare it a bit to Walmart uh, in the USA, though they are not uh, totally the same thing. However, Sokose sells things at very affordable prices. Here you can see Lepidor. Lepidor is also a chain, chain store of um, bakeries across uh, the entire territory of Côte d'Ivoire. Guys, can you see over there the beautiful planted trees? Yeah, here in Ivory Coast, there are many trees along the roadside. They have uh, um, a sense of uh, the green, so it's actually very beautiful. See here, it's a small forest in the middle of the city, <laughs> just to say. Yeah, I like the place. You can come and relax over there and get some fresh air. Mm. Yes, and as you can see, such places are also very cozy to have a drink, to have uh, a chat with someone, and uh, just to have a walk or to have a good meal. Alright guys, you can appreciate for yourself how the city is, yeah, it's a city, so yes, Ganyua is a vibrant city. all these greeny and vast portions of land with constructions also yeah so it is not just a city that is uh, left in the lowly rank but uh, it is it's a city with constructions with state institutions with businesses with privately owned buildings state owned buildings and of course, definitely
as you can see here is a Jumia relay point for those who buy online on Jumia now they can go there to receive their goods if their goods are not delivered at home yeah so Jumia is kind of the eBay in Europe or the Amazon in Europe and uh, in the Americas yeah kind of you know what I mean online marketing online buying and uh, delivery of the goods at home Alright guys, you see this roundabout, ce rond-point. Who knows how they call this roundabout? La personne qui connaît comment on appelle ce rond-point qui est près de l'hôpital, vous pouvez écrire en commentaire. So if you know how it's called, you can leave it in the comment section below. Here it's already towards the market area. You see how busy it is. Yeah. So this is around the market area. Inside on the right hand side, there are mainly shops, small shops, small businesses, people buy and sell there. It's the market of the you can see here now to enter to the market. And you can see how the shops are. The sh shops are built out of wood. However, some are also out of concrete. And uh, you see how people can sell little commodities and uh, make uh, great profits and good gains by that. So people are entrepreneurial and then they have a business mind in order to make a living and feed their families. <laughs> It's important. Oh guys, see these beautiful palm trees. See how beautiful they are. It really makes that view so wonderful and cozy, <laughs> beach-like. <laughs> Yes guys, so this is the anti-tuberculosis center of Ganyua. As you know, TB is a, it's an infectious disease that primarily affects the lungs, but it can also affect other organs like the kidneys, the bones, the liver. In such cases, it is called extrapulmonary TB. However, TB is a disease which we can treat, though the treatment is long, about six months. Guys, you see these cows? That's how some people rear their herds. Maybe herd of cows, herd a flock of sheep. That's how they rear it here, in a nomadic kind of lifestyle. They move around with the cows from place to place. Interesting to see it on the road like that. This is Africa, Côte d'Ivoire. <laughs> Just like in different parts of Africa also. Sub-Saharan Africa, you will find that cows have been reared in this same way, in a nomadic kind of way.
yeah guys you can see at this junction what caught my attention there were all those things pointing indicating hotels that are found around it's uh, hotel london villages hotel Safir, christ l hotel and others <laughs> So just continue riding along and enjoy the view of the city and the music. Overall, Ghana plays an important role in the agricultural and economic landscape of Côte d'Ivoire, contributing to the country's exports and trade activities. Alright guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the ride, you could come along with me in the streets and atmosphere and scenery of Gagno. Thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching, I hope I will see you in the next videos. Stay blessed!